Saint Margaret of Hungary, January 18th. Saint Margaret was born in Hungary and was the eighth daughter of ten children to the ruler of Croatia. Her parents were a royal couple that ruled the land. Her parents vowed that if Hungary were liberated from the Mongols, they would dedicate a child to religion. Her parents entrusted the four-year-old Margaret to the Dominican monastery at Vesprem in 1245. Six years later, she was transferred to the monastery of the Blessed Virgin founded by her parents on Rabbit Island near Buda, today called Margaret Island. The ruins of this monastery can still be seen today. The rest of her life was spent there dedicating her life to her religion. She opposed all attempts of her father to arrange a political marriage for her with King Ottokar II of Bohemia. Much of the details of her life are known from the legend of St. Margaret, written in the 14th century. Margaret chastised herself from early childhood, wore an iron girdle, hair shirts, and shoes spiked with nails to create pain and suffering to offer up. She later also performed the dirtiest task in the monastery. She died on January 18, 1271, at the age of 28. Her death is believed to have been caused by fatigue, brought on by her extreme fasting and endless hours in prayer. Seventy-four miracles were ascribed to her intercession, most of them referring to curing illnesses, even some coming back from the death. Pope Pius XII did not canonize her until 1943. Her aunt was Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. Even though it took centuries for her to be canonized, she was venerated as a saint shortly after her death. Her feast day is celebrated on January 18th. Her monastery was among those suppressed in 1782 by the orders of Emperor Joseph II. At that time, her remains were given to the poor players. They were kept in Buddha. In art, she is usually depicted in a Dominican habit holding a white lily and a book. Prayer O oh God, who called your handmaid Blessed Margaret of Hungary, to seek you before all else, grant that, serving you through her example and intercession with a pure and humble heart, we may come at last to your eternal glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Saint Margaret of Hungary, pray for us.